Welcome to lesson 16 on stairs, on the stairs plugin tool. Stairs have perhaps a particularly special architectural poignancy. The word in English is from the Dutch, but in the French, escalier is from the Latin scala, which means a ladder. We'll look at some interpretations of the iconography of the stair and its metaphorical interpretations. Here we had quite a an elaborate stair sequence, a, a little pastiche. There's a roof light running on this axis so we're bringing light down through the building right down into the lower ground floor. It just demonstrates what can be achieved as a as a an architectural sequence no doubt you'll pick the visual puns this is done this is a, a custom stair we're not showing the left and right rails they're very limited to emphasize this slot cut through the floor a lobby at the lower ground floor that then leads into a, a living room with a huge fireplace. So there was a, an elemental sequence from garden to half. This was part of our project Hotel Rustique in Nanuki, which you can see on our YouTube page. These handrails are handrail plugins which allow you to set finishes classes using the walk through tool. So we'll come to the various types of plugin. This is the simple sphere. You'll find these in your tool palette. Uh, and again we'll come on to customizing palettes later in uh, the next lesson. You, you'll find it in your building elements. We have custom stair, simple stair and stair and circular stair. In fact, this, this is a circular stair, this is a simple stair, this was the one you were looking at in perspective is a stair, and this is a custom stair, and this is a ramp. If we'll just have a look at the way the simple stair behaves. Um, yes, it has a width. You, you draw the top tread if you want to, and of course create 3D so it allows you to have a, a left and right rail. The way that behaves in the plan, when you adjust the width, we will just double it. It's just going to time to two. Okay, so it does that. And they're very useful in site plans particularly, when you just want a quick, a quick stay on a concept model. You don't want to get too involved in the specifics of the stair plugin, which we'll now look at, because in, in, in many ways, the custom stair is actually easier to manipulate the settings than the, the normal stair. So let's have a look at this. We have our, our, most of our attributes uh, by class. Posts in the frame and the frame bars for the balustrade is in the metal balustrade class. The handrail um, is in a timber class. Then the risers, treads and stair structure. There is a lot to deal with here and of course um, you can make it into a style. I found this stair uh, parameters dialog more more demanding than the custom stair one. So once you've got something you like, I would suggest that again that go that extra mile and make it a style. Let's call this stair KMU. Okay, railings. Have a look at this. Okay, the position is 900 above the pitch. There's a lot of settings here. But here we have a stringer outside, open riser. Actually, it's quite baffling some of these um, parameters, but okay, look here, we can make sense of this one tread thickness and nosing riser offset. Spelling mistake, curious. The string width, 12 millimeter thick steel, perhaps. Stringer depth, yes. Uh, landing thickness, landing one thickness, landing two thickness, I presume. You'd expect those to be the same, really. In 2D, you have a brake line, and you can set the angle of the brake line. So, again, once you've got something you want, save it as a style. It is intense. I can hear rain coming. 
which means on, a, on my tin roof, which means we'll have to we'll have to stop. The basic geometry. So there's a range of presets here, and 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 all the rest of it. There it is. The riser height is variable. The rest of these are, are locked. The length of the side one, and so to get this, as you see, these are highlighting. Uh, so to get that to work, and the tread depth 330, there was a little fiddling about with that, um, and in general, overall floor to floor 3040 tread depth. Uh, so it seems to repeat the the settings again. Uh, so as I said already, um, this seems to be rather a, a heavy dialogue menu of, of parameters, but hey. Uh, here we come on to the custom stand. In lots of ways, this is easier to manipulate. The dialog box seems to have to work more easily. We'll just make a copy of that. Well, there seems to be a, a lot more parameters controllable from the object info palette, which is useful. And my recommendation would be actually use the custom stand. It, it is actually easier. Let's have a look at the settings in general. Uh, it's just immediately, it's easier. General, there are the parameters. Maximum riser height 165, control dash nosing recess. Yeah, that's you know useful. And then there's a start marker and end marker, which you put in a class that you want. I mean, I, I put in a class called floors and stairs text, which is self-explanatory. Well, you could, you could set them by layer elevation. Yes, that might be actually a better way of doing it. Flights and platforms. So this works rather nicely. Um, and you kind of scroll around each one, which is great. With the addition of different elements, you can say so you can add something before and after with, in different configurations, uh, a winder, a platform, and an L-shaped or a U-shaped uh, dog leg, and so forth. So well, what we'll do is just make this platform straight. No, we need this platform as a U. There you go. So, or oh, whoopsie. Um, let's just go, so my my one before is 2,000 wide, let's make side 2 4,400, side 3, we can make that 2,200 perhaps, side 1, let's make that 2,000 then, okay, oh, actually the, the, the configuration, yeah, it, the preview does change if you click forward and back and it, and it changes the configuration which is great. Oh. Notice the, the handrails are there. Auto reset handrail, there you go. Where do we get to? Upper lower floors. Oh, just where you want the stair break. Show the data if you want, but you might as well have it on. You can always control it in the class that you put it in. So the construction, there we are. Um, bunch of um, bunch of parameters. We could try this one with the with the timber board instead. Nosing 15, tread thickness 65. That's quite a thick one. And it's basically steel. You can have masonry, monolithic, and timber, and a whole bunch of other parameters come up. And the handrails, so metal white handrails, guardrails in the same class, overall height 950 for the guardrail, 900 for the handrail, and there you go. I mean, actually, you know, this one you'll you'll figure out. It's really quite user friendly. Steel for your for your stringers if it's a steel stair. Riser style. So there we are. Well, let's have it closed. You know, closed and sloping riser thickness 22. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, let's put the risers in a different. Let's put the risers in the default class, isn't it? Oh, there we are. Risers custom stair class. Now oh, we want those in with the same as the as the timber, I think. Okay. There we go. Oops. Strange. Oh, that's it. Yes, it is. Okay. A little bit of little bit of lag. All quite friendly. So, just to show you what what's possible. This is a custom stairs, a dog legs, a fire escape, and all we've done here is use a use a different class for the treads, which has a kind of checker plate. Uh, so you'll find this in the in the Vectorworks 
textures library, put it in a class, call it fittings metal. Check a plate or something. Ditto, you can have tread plates, you know, lovely stuff. The balustrade, you won't be able to do this. That has to be made out of map surfaces. Easy enough to do. Put a bunch of locuses under where you, there they are, put some locuses in where the, where the, where the lower rail is, pop them in, select them all, copy them, move them down in 3D, draw a NURBS curve with a degree of 1, again copy the NURBS curve, move it in 3D to the same amount and use the loft tool in no rail mode to create the NURBS surface which Web surface. Okay, we'll come on to that in another lesson to follow um, 24. So, a rather nice effect. So, Aquila Stir has some um, parameters which you just need to fiddle with to make the headroom. It's the headroom. Yeah, they're in the object info palette here. That's your radius and plan, your tread width, your floor to floor height, maximum riser, angle. It's that. You see, my man is banging his head. So it's this angle. What, what should he be? He should be standing on that step, which is 1810. Let's put our guy down to 1810. He's just about standing on the, on the step there. We take our locus. We can have him move it up two meters. And so, still, this angle isn't right. I still need a bit of negative 725. That looks a bit better. Yeah, that's it. That's my two meters above my other locus there. So my man is at... My man... It's actually useful to use a, a human. So he's at 1780. And the locus is should then be at... Uh, 1780 plus two meters, which is 1780 plus 2000. Okay, so that, that one that one's alright. A quick look at ramps. Minimum disabled for residential uh, is between 1 and 12. Is the absolute steep. So if we type 1 to 15, we get that. Um, 1 to 19 is for public spaces now. So we just get 1 over 19, um, which is 0.5. 2632, and I'm pretty sure uh, I, I, I did 1 to 18. Yeah, 1 to 18. So, public ramps got to be 1 to 18. Rise over run, just type it in the, the, what you want. Nice to articulate uh, slip resistant variation. So, you know, if these were a smooth tile, this would be a rough tile. Basically, the point is that a wheelchair will not accelerate. It's that angle you might have done in your physics O level, because where you get a, a, a trolley and a ticker tape on a ramp that just compensates for friction, so that the, the so that the wheelchair user does not accelerate. What we've done here to make that happen, and there's other ways of doing it. Um, I, I, I want my ramp in that class, so it doesn't let me adjust the, the render. Uh, finish to top, bottom and sides. We use this quite clever tool here, the extract tool, and extract the face, extract surface, just ping that on there, click the green arrow, gives me a nerve surface and I'll put that into my striped tile finish, finishes floor tile stripe, and then just lift it even three millimeters and get your rotation of your stripes. This one is similar, just 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 shows you that the handrails can be pitched. So the setting here rise 350 and um, it just sits on the wall. There's a little threshold drain down here. It's an echo drain with a grating on top. 